Hello, I'm Melanie the midwife and recently some Australian doctors are making it a point to suggest that what women really need in their childbearing journey is obstetric led care. So with this report on the research, let's have a look at what the evidence is to see if in fact what the women of Australia need is obstetric led care. Today's article, it's from the Cochrane Database of Systematic Reviews. Now, for rigorous academic research, you can't go past the Cochrane Database of Systematic Reviews. A systematic review is a synthesis or a combination of primary research using a rigorous methodology. And a systematic review is considered very high quality evidence. So the findings can be considered reliable. Let's have a look at this systematic review that was done in 2016 called Midwife-Led Continuity of Care Models versus Other Models of Care for Childbearing Women. The aim of this research was to compare midwife-led continuity of care models with other models of care for childbearing women. So if you have continuity of care, that means you have your own care provider for the duration of your pregnancy, birth, and potentially your postnatal care. The authors of this article included 15 separate trials, which in total involved 17,674 women. For those playing out there in research land, you'll know that that's great big numbers that can be used to determine outcomes accurately. So let's see what they found. Women having midwife-led continuity of care were less likely to experience an epidural, a forceps or vacuum-assisted birth, preterm birth prior to 37 weeks, artificial rupture of membranes, episiotomy, a loss of their baby prior to 24 weeks, or a neonatal death when compared to other models of care. Similarly, compared to other models of care, women were more likely to experience a spontaneous vaginal birth, no need for medication for pain relief during labor, a longer labor, but they were more likely to be cared for by a known midwife rather than a stranger. And then if we look between the groups where there was no difference, the cesarean birth rates, um, intact perineums, total number of neonatal deaths, hospitalization during pregnancy, bleeding during pregnancy, induction or augmentation of labor, postpartum hemorrhage, breastfeeding initiation, and a collection of other outcomes for the baby were all pretty similar across any care model. The authors concluded that most women should be offered midwife-led continuity of care because it provides benefits for the women and the babies and the authors identified no adverse side effects or ill effects from having midwife-led continuity of care versus other models. However, they said they couldn't assume the same would apply to women with existing serious pregnancy and health complications because these women weren't included in the evidence that they assessed. But women with risk factors, don't worry, because the MENGO trial, which I spoke about in a previous video, has this missing information. And I can tell you from that research that women of all risk benefit positively from midwifery continuity of care models. What's more is that the majority of included studies in this systematic review reported a higher rate of maternal satisfaction in midwife-led continuity of care models compared to the others. Similarly, there was a trend towards a cost-saving effect for midwife-led continuity of care compared to other models, so it's actually cheaper, but the same or better outcomes. So from this research, we learned that women receiving continuity of care from a midwife are just as well off or better than other models of care. The babies are safer and women experience greater satisfaction and midwifery models of care are cheaper to run than other options. So this is good news for mothers, for babies, 
for service providers. So it's a bit of a no brainer. Every hospital should offer midwife led continuity of care models. It's just best for everyone. So women, do yourselves an evidence-based favor and get yourself a midwife to see you through your next pregnancy and birth. I'm Melanie the Midwife, and if you found this helpful, pass it on.